So we're here at uh, SHOT Show 2017 at the Mission First Tactical booth with uh, Andrew from Mission First Tactical. And uh, so Andrew, you guys got some new components and some new things out, uh, some holsters. You want to tell us about them? Sure. Absolutely. We'll start with the holster line. It's a completely new side from what Mission First Tactical is used to doing. Obviously, we are more of AR-15 parts, pieces, accessories. So we've decided to take another branch off from that and start with Kydex. Okay, so what we can show you is we're starting with 24 models this year, and it is a very sophisticated, different type of forming than what the industry is somewhat used to. You see a lot of this out of some of your smaller shops, but from what how we do it here is we start, if you can see, from a very sophisticated mold underneath that's vacuum pressed over, and then we CNC cut our two pieces, hand rivet together, hand polish the outsides so they get that real hand craft custom look to them. And then we clean, finish, install, and put in a very nice, very attractive display box. So whether you're hanging, whether you're putting in a library style of a stand, it's a very attractive package. It brings a lot of attention directly to the product. So the quality inside is going to match the quality that's outside the box as well. So we're very, very proud of that. New stuff that we have for our AR-15 lines and M16 or uh, AK-47s is we have four new hand guards, we have two new magazines, and we have one new grip. So to start here, we have a brand new 15-inch free float key mod rail. Now this rail is made of a very high, very strong tensile aluminum. Pretty much covers every single angle that you can see there that you can put your M-locks on. So lots of room for accessories and room. We have a new polymer drop-in. Now you got M-lock on the sides as well as on top and also on the bottom. It's a two-piece clip-on. We also have a brand new G27 grip replacing our elder grip. It's got a little bit more width than what was there before, a little less of an angle and no finger grooves in the front. So it gives a little bit mobility for a one-handed use before people were looking, saying, complaining that you needed both hands almost to manipulate the gun back and forth. With everything that's ergonomically designed here, it gives a much better control for moving around with one hand so you can keep that other one free. Cool. We did an upgrade to our front and rear backup sights. So we added a little bit more strength to our polymer blend. We reinforced the pins. We added a new screw with a captured nut inside so there's no more stripping. And for the front sight post that's not on here, we added a new metal front sight post versus a plastic that was before. Now, is that front sight post actually uh, threaded like a standard A2 front sight post? Yes, and adjustable just like your original ones are, for whether a pen or bullet tip. This is another drop-in. This one's for key mod. It's all aluminum with a pick rail on top. Again, a two-piece just clips right together with an existing barrel nut. You don't need to change anything on there. Next, we had the same version, but in an M-lock configuration. So M-lock goes all the way around the bottom and on the sides, again, with your pick rail on top. Then new for 308s, we have a brand new 20 round 308 okay. magazine. Cool. Very simple, straightforward design. Nothing too crazy or innovative there, just a new model and new line for our magazine. And for the minimalist stock, we added a new cheek riser. So it's a prototype for this moment, but it'll be in full production, I'd say probably three or four months from now. Another added feature for our minimalist stock where we didn't have too many accessories for it in the past. So you guys got a lot of new stuff out. Yes, we went very heavy on new stuff. To follow on the magazine line, we got a new one for the AK-47. So this one's gonna have a little bit more features to it and there'll be two versions of this, one that will have metal tabs on the back and in the front, and one without. This also incorporates a follower that holds the bolt back on the last oh, round nice. fire. And we also have a drainage hole, or a debris hole, into the back there. So while it's inserted and you're firing, anything that's inside of there can fall out the bottom and not stay captured. Very cool. And lastly, we have California Compliance. Oh, yes. <laughs> so it's big on the market it's now. Like we have to have it. Helping out the California guys there with their new craziness. So we're selling a one-piece grip and 
a featureless version towards the back. It's pinned on by a vibration weld, so it's okay. considered a permanent attachment. So it comes as one piece. The only way if you were to take that out is you have to drill it. Right. So it's not something you can easily put in or take out. So say the law has changed and are able to go back, they can remove it? Correct. You could drill that out, slide it off, and this grip has the interchangeable front and back strap. You just put that piece back on. Our butt stocks are pinned. So instead of putting a pin through anything on the outside, we remove the guts, put a block, and then a roll pin through that way. So it's much more aesthetically pleasing versus any kind of hole on the outside. And we have our 10 round fixed, pinned, and vibration welded on floor plate. So okay. it is a true permanent fixed 10 round magazine. A lot of our competitors just pin it and don't actually affix the base. So you may run into a couple less issues with something like this versus somebody else. So a question about that too is uh, those pins. Say for example, someone moves out of a restricted state. Can they be removed and, and that block be removed? You can. This one might be a little bit more difficult than others because just besides that pin, that vibration welding is very tight. Okay. So it may need to be staying in that configuration versus trying to take it apart. But at the same time, you have less issues from where you are now versus somebody else where you could remove that or if something else, maybe somebody else did that before you got that magazine, you didn't know about it. These you won't have that problem with. Gotcha. Very cool. So, thank you again for your time You're and for showing us your products. Mission First Tactical, you can check them out. Where's your website at again? Uh, MissionFirstTactical.com. Right. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Until next time, go out and have some fun shooting.